Hello folks, and welcome back to another episode of Random Game Monday. So this time I'm playing a game called Kerbal Space Program, which is an awesome space simulator game. Where you're supposed to make rockets, fly them to space and discover new worlds. Not to discover part, but yeah. You're supposed to build rockets and fly to the moon and stuff like that. So, uh, do I have yeah stuff in there? But I'm gonna build a ship, which I already built before because I can. <laughs> so I want to use um, that one. Um, this part is not part of the game. It's a mod from a mod called Jeb, called Mac Jeb. It's called yeah, Mac Jeb, not Jeb. Um, so yeah, let's build this rocket. I'm gonna take this to the top here and I'm gonna call it VP MK2 and I want to use a little bit of rocket stuff of course um, let's see first we need a an SAS advanced a SAS it's the autopilot or the uh, thing that holds you steady without you having to touch the controls because that's too much to do at the same time as other stuff <laughs> so yeah um you need a landing uh, part and let's see here I need landing stuff I just build a ro rest of rocket first so I use this as the lander uh, rocket then we need a decoupler, which is this one, decoupler, and, oh wait, uh, I need an SAS, no, um, RCS, I can put that on the outside. Um, then I need uh, another uh, fuel tank, I'm gonna use this one. Mm, I'm not actually gonna do that, I'm gonna use this one, and... Where is it? The uh, there you go. No, oh, I that one because it's not the biggest one, and that uses so much fuel, and that's like the smaller version of it. Got half the uh, uh, thrust, um, less than that. And then we need a decoupler. You know, I can actually do this to just do that. Have it ready. Uh, I don't need more of those, I need a bigger one. Okay, there you go. And let's see, it. that's the decoupler. I think so. Uh, where does it? Yeah, I guess it's the decoupler. Yeah. And then I need this thing to decouple stuff. Uh, I'm gonna do this. Wait a little bit. Um, Put a very small fuel tank there. I'm going to take that tank and I will have that one on there. And I need a decoupler. Wait, hold on, wait. Stupid thing. Decoupler is in here again. Uh, you have to go very much back and forth all the time to find the right parts you want. That's a really big rocket which uh, I guess we can use it and we need a bigger fuel tank uh, we will that's that fuel tank wait 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 hold on oh that's small as shit why is it like that on the bottom that's stupid that's just idiotic uh, whatever um we will have this one, which is the bigger one, I think. Yeah, it's the base one. We'll do that, and we'll add the this one on, and then another decoupler. Wait, oh, there it is. There, a reach flag, <laughs> and then another one of these. Go up a little bit. Massive rocket and another one. Is that this big? No, that is small. Okay, 
then we're gonna have this, let's see, 3,200, 2,500, oh yeah, this third and thrust, um, let me see here, well, can I actually put something on the, uh, no, I can't, I, can't. I thought for a second I could, but I could not do that, would be cool to have that through there, but no, it doesn't work like that, uh, I'm gonna add, um, few of these, uh, these parts. Um, can't go, for <laughs> can't go out, okay, there we go. It's called struts, which keeps your rocket kind of, um, uh, what you want to call it, steady in the air and in space, so you don't wobble as much, because wobbling is so damn bad <laughs> if your rocket began to wobble then you're practically dead the rocket is dead at least and the crew if you don't have some kind of escape system which this is I've never used it actually you've normally put it on there but I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna put uh, this a uh, thing here yeah this thing Mm. I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. Should I should do that. Do, 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 do. Should I do that? Her, her. Probably don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm planning on doing like the real moon landing they had. This thing I'm gonna do. They, yeah, did stuff. They docked in space to. Uh, so you don't, yeah, to have enough fuel to go back. So I'm actually gonna do that, which means another stage, right? This one is gonna have to be bigger. Bigger is better. Not always, cause if it gets higher, it will wobble, wobbly, wobbly, wobbly. There you go, and we will use one of these. Uh, I will have a uh, oh this yes uh, RCS yeah mono propellant RCS I'm sure gonna be there and we because we can do that we can add this thing smaller I need more that one and yeah I'll just I just be back when the bracket is done. All oh right, it is done. The VP Mark II, the VP Mark II is done, and we are ready to travel into the unknown universe and stuff. <laughs> so let's go with full thrust. Oh well, there we go. Got it. Take down thrust a little bit. Bit by bit, so I don't use all the fuel in the main engine, because this main engine and these uh, boosters are gonna get up up to there, where we will um, decouple and use this stage, which will get us higher up, and might even come up there, because this is the slowest part. From here, it's easier. And right there, we're gonna pitch over to 90 degrees and get ourselves into orbit. So the boosters are almost up. I'm gonna have to increase the speed when I when they're done. I guess uh, we can see the uh, Kerbal Space Command down there. Okay, boosters almost gone. Maximum speed. Just keep going up. Keep coming. Yep, going up. I think I had too much we much weight on the ship. Yes, I do. I think I have one. Um, I have too much fuel. Revert flight to vehicle assembly. So everything just happened. You did not see. <laughs> 
Looks like I got too much fuel. Just do that and take it down to there. And take this down. Oh, holy crap. Take those off, take that away, put that on again. And we are ready for flight again. Just gonna take it down there. Alright. Oh, wait, 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 we can do that. I forgot to do that. Put these cones on. Yeah. Save. It's that. No. Oh my god, you stupid idiot. Why you be stupid? Go. Alright. These are visitors on sandwich. And. Yep. Alright, let's do this. Again. Launch. Now it's gonna be easier to get it up in there. Three, two, one, ignition. We have liftoff again. And now it's much faster. Yeah, yeah, this is the right one. The right sign. And everything with this game is about trial and error until you get it right. And first time I built this rocket, it was right and I got to the moon on first try. I really love the new NASA parts, which are these big parts like that one, that, and the coupler and all that stuff. These are vanilla Kerbal parts. So, yeah. Alright, and. We are now at the height that boosters ran out. We are at 150 and climbing up on meters per second. Booster is almost gone. Doing good, doing great, doing absolutely awesome. And we got Jebediah Carmen with us, which is awesome. Stop Steam, you're in the way of Kerman. Everyone on this planet is called Kerman. <laughs> Jebediah Kerman, Bob Kerman, Bill Kerman, those guys are just scared and that guy is awesome because it's Jebediah Kerman. Just because. <laughs> Take down the speed, want to get as far up in the atmosphere as possible. Alright, we are here. Right, almost gone. And... The couple, alright. Now. Alright, it's beginning to spin, kind of. Gonna go... Oh, oh, oh. You can see it down here, I'm working on stuff. Uh, there we go. That's where I wanna be. Take down the speed, so we can get as far as possible. And we are on our way to space. The final frontier. Okay. I love this game. Absolutely awesome. Now we can still see Kerbal K KC Kerbal Space Command, and that's the decoupled part that fell off, and now it's gonna crash into that place. <laughs> Alright, and the smoke disappeared because we have gotten into this part of the atmosphere. And this is technical space. So yeah, we can time warp, but that's not recommended in in mid-flight in the um, atmosphere of Kerbal. Uh, Ker, I don't know, uh, Kerbin. That's that's what it's called. I totally forgot that. Okay, <laughs> we can see here we got a bunch of fuel left, a bunch of monopropellant. I'm gonna pitch up over a little bit more. Just to get a good orbit. Oh oh don't go, don't go there, don't go. Eh, eh, eh. There you go. Right. We're almost in space and in space you'll get um, good music. Like space music. Because no. It's not <laughs> space music, but it comes when you are in space. And we aren't doing reasoning any, any uh, electricity. We're using it now, uh, and the lights are on, which they aren't. I forgot to place them on. Oops. 
Well, whatever. We aren't gonna land on the dark side and move. Welcome to the dark side. <laughs> right, almost in space. 70,000 meters, we are in space. Congratulations, we are in space. And now you can hear music. Almost good. Well, oh, it ran out. Nice. We're getting this orbit going. Trying to get a orbit like here. Alright, and then we just do that. Wait until we get over there. Uh, Arceus. Arceus online. And that was supposed to be my moonar uh, part. Where uh, part I used to get to moon. To the moon. It's called moon. That uh, moon. The moon. Or moon, or whatever. And I need to do this to make it. Yeah. Okay. Now I just gotta find a marker. Wherever it is. We're approaching our thrust coordinates in 7 minutes and 44 seconds. And the part that is good about this game, we got time warp. We can warp time. Space time continuum. Now we can get to there. Okay, there we go. Alright, alright. Uh, yeah, okay, I got the buttons. Almost there. A little bit faster. Do, 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 do. There we go. Alright. That is on 140. That's gonna be on 140. Great, uh, not the best circular orbit, but that's as good as we need. And we don't really need that good. We can have an elliptical orbit, but that's gonna be a little bit more difficult to get to Moon. All right, set set as target and descent ascent. So we we'll kind of do it there. Go here and. But uh, because Cobb says Brian is weird, we're gonna have to do it on that part. There we go. Let's see how close. Just a look. Uh, we can get closer, but not too close. Yeah, whatever. That's that's enough. So in uh, 20 minutes we will be doing this burn, but we can time over of course. I gotta find the node, there we go, thrust node which is the blue one. Uh, I says, help me, no! no, 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 no. Uh, I could do that of course, I forgot that, but yeah. So on the side here and... Do Almost perfect. All right, there we go, and there we go. Great. All right, we are in space. There is Moon. There is Carbon, and I can open our solar panels. But it's not very much sun on this side of the planet. So, yeah, yeah, <laughs> not getting very much power. There we go, great, we got that out. Alright, time warp to the other side of the planet. The light side. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Do a little bit more time warping. Okay, gonna, gonna burn in one minute. So I'm going to start on 30 seconds. Oh, 
just get this. Alright, great. It's gonna be amazing. One ship, which is a rocket, will be exploring space for the first time for Kerbal history. Maximum thrust. We are doing this. Look at this. We are over some kind of desert now, and uh, where's the KSC? It should be around on the other side of the planet. Uh, there, there it is. The little part there. That's where it is. Kerbal Space Command. Right, 30 seconds left of the burn. And the solar panels are doing a great job of doing stuff. And this is my landing stage, this part and that part. So it's a small landing stage. Hopefully I'll have enough fuel, most likely. Alright, alright, here we go. Approaching. Okay, that was almost perfect. It went a little bit too fast. Which you can fix by going to the other side here. Always to take too fast. <laughs> Come on, back. Alright, three, two, one, and there. There we go. A little. And there we go. Oh, no, wait, that's not working. Oh, whatever. <laughs> well, that's just time warp. I'm gonna set a node there to know that in three hours we will be at the moon. Bye, Kerbin. My friend, my home world. We are leaving uh, Carbon. I almost said Earth. Okay. Right. Alright, we are in the moon. The moons. Oh, almost moons. Uh, influence. Point of influence or whatever. Sphere of influence, that's what it's called. Alright. We'll do a burn there, which will get us into orbit. A uh, 16 second burn, which will not take long. Gotta get my node on the right place. We're almost. Oh, this RCS is so irritating. Eh. Oh, we're almost out of fuel in that part. Can just leave it in. Uh, solar orbit because uh, it will go into orbit around the sun if I decouple this part here uh, okay all right that will go into orbit around the sun which is not good but whatever <laughs> I don't care it's a game it's not real world so that's just space junk. I can delete it though, uh, so that's gonna be easy. Just gonna leave there. All right, in the no at the node in one hour twenty one minutes, Kerbal time. Oh, it's going so fast. Oh wait, 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 one minute burn? Oh, okay. Yeah, cause... Oh no, well, whatever. We're getting to orbit anyway. Round, round, round. Oh, yeah, th that's the moon. I thought that was the moon for one second. I wondered what this was. Alright, almost, almost, almost. Okay, great, great, almost there. Just gonna remove that. 
there you go. 156, 135. Yeah, whatever. That's a nice orbit. So now the problem is where are we gonna land? Um, what seems to be the best option? Right there seems to be the best option. We're gonna have to go around a few times. We're gonna see what it looks like right here. Mm, land. We are land there. It's on the bright side of the moon. We'll have enough time to uh, land. So the initial burn to get at orbit will be done with this stage here, which I have enough fuel to get back to that, but I don't have any way to cup and duck with it again, because I didn't want to mess up anything. So yeah. This and like that. Oh, I'm behind it. Crap. Whatever. Over there, that means we could. No. Not there. I gotta have a time to do this. There we go. Should be enough. So it was up there. Like. Difficult. All right, let's do this. There we go. Great. Can't find one. Where is one? There it is. Hello man, how you doing? Alright. Great. So gotta we're going to go all the way down there. Right there we will do an air burn. Which will do that. Alright. Gonna find a node first, and then with 10 minutes or curb time warp down there to go down on the moon. There we go. All right, I'm ready for this. Oh, that's supposed to be on uh, other. Take it there. All right, great. Oh, derp, 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 derp. Shit. Oh yeah, I can do that. Get it further up there. It's great. Whenever. All right. Now time warp down to the part of the moon. Okay. Don't go too far. This is a risky job. Alright, let's do this now. Holy shit, 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 shit. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. No! Um. Okay. Um load save. <laughs> okay, folks, that was Kerbal Space Program. I kind of failed. I didn't fail last time and do this, I just burned too late. So yeah. Well anyway, 
If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to Giant Planet Collective. And go follow me on Twitter. And yeah, stuff like that. And as always, live long and prosper.